Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for encouragement is, God said you have to change your lifestyle in order to make it in. You have to change your lifestyle in order to make it in. To heaven, to make it in. The way that God is telling you, you got to do everything that God is telling you to do. You know, some of you think that you're going to make it into heaven, but your lifestyle haven't changed. You're not going to go. You got to change your ways. Your ways have to be like God. You know, when you get baptized, you have to be different. You have to change. You cannot get baptized. You cannot, you know, go to church and still be the same way. You got to change. Your old self have to die so God can bring the new you out. The Bible verse I want to read to you is Ephesians 4 and 22, and it reads, To put off your former ways of life, your old self, which is being corrupt by it, deceitful desires. You have to let go of those desires of the world. You have to be able to listen to God so God can do more in you. Some of you that is watching me, you still have the lifestyle of the devil. God cannot do anything for you and you still live in the world of sinful ways. You have to let go of the world in order to move forward with God. You need to say, Lord, help me to move forward. Lord, help me to do your will. It's important as a Christian, as a believer, that you listen to the Lord. Only God can help you. Yes, your pastor is teaching you. That's a, that, that's their job to teach you. That's their job to help you to make it into heaven. But they can't do the work for you. You have to understand. You have to do the work yourself. You have to be able to wake up. You have to be able to pray. You have to be able to do the things that God is telling you to do. You have to learn how to remove yourself from evil. Learn how to remove yourself from things that the devil is putting in you or around you and say, devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Shabbat. I thank you, Jesus. You have to be able to allow God to have his way in your life. I mean, some of you have to really pray. You will have to pray that devil off of you. You will have to pray to get your life together. You will have to pray because guess what? That's the only way. That's the only way you gonna make it into heaven. You gonna have to pray that devil off of you. You gonna have to fast. You gonna have to seek. You gonna have to do whatever God is asking you to do. And He's saying, not your will, but let my will be done. And I'm telling you, when God let His will be done, some things is gonna just, just change. Things gonna shake up. Things gonna be like you gonna be like, oh my gosh, Lord, why did you do this? And God gonna say to you because. You haven't even listened to me. You haven't followed my will. I told you what to do. Some of you, you don't get yourself together. You're going to die in sin. You really are. Because God is so sick and tired of fake Christians. God needs Christians that is really ready to change. He needs people that is really ready to get their life together. You can't serve God and still got ways of the devil in you. That's called the warm. That call double-minded and they called confused so get yourself together and ask god to help you don't give up pray about all things i love you all have a great beautiful day stay blessed thank you for watching